We're going to learn Take the A-Train by Duke Ellington. It's a pretty simple song, but if you haven't seen me teach a song before, I made one about St. James, you should check it out because I talk more extensively about how to learn these songs. But the first thing you want to do, I'll recap, is learn the melody. Now, you don't have to learn it on guitar. You just need to learn it in your brain. So pause, go to Spotify, listen to it 10 times in a loop, and come back. You want to have it in your brain. You want to be able to hum it. That's the first step. So this song goes bum, be do do di o, dum ba da da be a ba da di da do. I know I'm not hitting the notes. Ba ba bum bum, and here I am. Be ba ba be, bum bum. Ba 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 be ba be ba be ba 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 be bo do do di do 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 da be do 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 di ba ba be ba 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 be ba 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 be ba so that's a representation of the melody that I hummed. You need to be able to do this. There's nothing to talk about until you're able to do this. It's on you. It's a memory. It's a humming memory. You gotta have that. I can't stress this enough. If you don't have that, just listen to it until you have that. Hum to yourself. Hum in the shower. Hum to your grandma. She'll like it, right? It used to be a hit. Um, so now let's put it on the guitar. This is kind of a skippable stage, won't hurt you to learn it. You can learn tunes without learning where to play them on the guitar, as long as you have them in your brain. But it goes, this is in the key of C by the way, starting on the fifth. Sometimes it's easy to remember where notes are in the harmony, right? So that, it started on the triad, and then you have this jazz line that sits on a G7. We're not even there yet talking about it, but it goes. So that might be hard to remember or sing if you don't have any context, but the way to think about that line is that you have an approach note from the two to the three of G, jump to the six, and then you have root to the flatted seventh. So it's a way of outlining the changes of a five chord of a G7 in the key of C. That's the portion of the G, right? So it goes two, sharp two, three, six, root seven, flat seven, jump to the fifth. And then it resolves one, three to C. So that's the only challenging part in this melody, technically. You got it. Up to this point, it's just AA, that melody repeating twice. Now, if you know that melody, that's 75% of the song because the form is called an AABA form. What's AABA? It's a way of naming sections of a form. The A repeats three times and the B is wedged somewhere in the middle there, right? It's A, A, then a different section, and then A. Each of those are eight measures. Now, Let's go over the B, now that we know the A. Well, we start by walking down from that C. So I'm walking down here and all I'm really seeing is an F major seven. And I'm just arpeggiating that F major seven. All the melody notes are there. And then it's an F sharp minor seven flat five. And then you just walk down back to that G. That's the, the last A. So let me just walk you through the entire melody. We go. Last A. 
Now let's talk about the harmony. Now I'm assuming that you can hum this. The A section is super simple. It goes from a C, six, nine, which I'm just going to play like this on the inner four strings. C, E, A, D. Then it's gonna go to just a normal old D7. You can play maybe a D9. That's a nice voicing for it, very simple. D minor nine, just drop that third a half step. I'm just gonna play a G13. And back to that one chord. So it's two measures of the first chord. Two measures of that second chord. One measure of the D minor, one measure of the G, two measures of the C. That's the A section. Harmonically what's happening is one, that's the one chord. Then it's gonna to go to five of five. Two, five, one. The B section, it just has a couple more chords. It goes to an F. We're just gonna jump here and use the same voicing we did for the C. Just F69. Now it's gonna stay on this for four whole measures. One, two, three, four. Now there are three more chords in the B. There's D7 for two measures, and then D minor nine to G13, one measure each. So it's made up of almost entirely the same materials as the A section, just in different places in the form. But let's now recap the entire form. I have A, A, B, A. So it's the one chord, five of five, dominant built on the two, two, five, one. Again, that's a second A. Now I'm gonna to go to the four chord. Two, three, four, D7, two measures. One, one, one. Five, five. stage is to add the hummed melody. I got do, be, do, do, de, do, bum, bum, ba, da, da, de, do, 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 de, da, do, ba, da, 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 ba, do, do, de, do, da, 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 do, de, da, do, de, da, ba, da, da, do, ba, 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 Now, if you can't hum it, just hum the rhythm. Go ta, 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 Ta da ta 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 da ba ba da 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 da. Now, why did I do that? Because I want to make sure that I have a representation of it in my brain. Even if you're not a good enough singer to do anything that sounds anything approximating it, you're probably going to be able to articulate something about it and you really want to know it. It's going to connect you to the song, connect you to everything. And really, that's how you learn songs. You memorize melodies. Now, the next stage is just being able to do something with the chords. So start with just arpeggios, right? Try out arpeggios. The one chord. That five of five. D major. D minor. G major to one. Again, one. Five of five. Two. Five. One. 
four. Five and five. Five of five, two, five, one. Now obviously that didn't sound anything approximating jazz because it's so inside the tools I'm using and it's almost like Caribbean music or something when you play it that way. But once you start adding some rhythms, you can get away with just playing arpeggio. If you just, again, take a rhythm that really sounds like a solo on a snare drum. ba da ba ba ka Ka to do to do to do to pa ba. It really starts sounding better when you start adding approach notes. Approach notes are a great way to start, but. We're not even digging in right now to this thing of shredding over the song or really sounding so good. Just busy learning it because learning tunes is the invisible canvas that we attach all of our improvisation to. So what you really wanna do is have absolute control of the harmonic rhythm and know when it changes. If you could just comp through it using one shape per chord, you're already in the game. If you can then play arpeggios, you're farther in the game. If you can do something to those arpeggios, add a melodic tool, you're farther in the game. So how about just like approach notes starting on the C. So I was just trying to add simple little things to that melody, showing you where it goes. Most important thing, get it in your mind. Export it from this format and don't use paper. It's possible to do all this stuff by ear, by thinking, by memorizing. That's all you want to do. Cool, subscribe to the channel, hit us up with a comment. We'll answer any questions you have. Don't forget our Patreon and we'll see you next time.